Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 23493, which is released to the dev channel, starting with this build, and talking about what's new in build. Firstly we have Windows Copilot Preview. In today's flight, Microsoft is offering an early look of Windows Copilot to Windows Insiders in the dev channel via controlled feature rollout. This first preview focuses on our integrated UI experience, with additional functionality coming down the road in future previews. To use Copilot in this flight you must have Windows Build 23493 or higher in the dev channel, and Microsoft Edge version 115.0.1901.150 or higher. As Microsoft is beginning to roll this out, so the experience isn't available to all insiders in the dev channel. Next to that, we have the new settings homepage. Microsoft is introducing a new homepage in settings that offers you a dynamic and personalized experience. It provides an overview of your device, quick access to key settings, and helps manage your Microsoft account. As Microsoft is beginning to roll this out, so the experience isn't available to all insiders in the dev channel. Next to that, we have Restore for more apps. Adding to the capabilities of the backup and restore improvements Microsoft announced in May, this build extends support to even more types of apps. Users will now see pins for their desktop app restored on the taskbar and start menu, including desktop apps that were not installed from the Microsoft Store. Desktop apps that are available in the Microsoft Store can be restored by clicking on the app pin to get started. For apps that aren't available in the Microsoft Store, you'll be directed to the web to download the installer. Next to that, we have native support for reading additional archive file formats. As announced at the Build Conference back in May, this build adds native support for reading additional archive file formats using the LibArchive open source project. Next to that, we have a new volume mixer experience in Quick Settings. Microsoft is introducing a new enhanced volume mixer into Quick Settings. The updated audio Quick Settings experience brings a modern volume mixer that allows for quick customization of audio on a per app basis, with additional control to swap devices on the fly. Also added a new keyboard shortcut. Win plus Control plus V, to bring you directly to the volume mixer for faster control of the experience. With this change, you can now tailor your audio experience better with more control and fewer clicks to better manage your favorite taps. In addition, made it easier for users to enable their Windows Sonic experience with a quick access list of installed spatial sound technology. You can visit the Microsoft Store to find additional spatial sound technology to choose from such as Dolby and DTS. Lastly, we have narrators natural voices in Japanese and English, Great British. Microsoft is introducing new natural voices in Japanese and English, Great British, that allow narrator users to comfortably browse the web, read, and write mail, and do more. Natural narrator voices use modern, on-device text-to-speech and once downloaded are supported without an internet connection. So, these were the new things introduced to this build, moving forward and talking about the changes and improvements. In general, new functionality for mitigating unrequested modifications for app defaults are included in this build. To be specific, Microsoft will ensure people who use Windows are in control of changes to their pins and their defaults. Will provide a common supported way for application developers to offer the ability to make their app the default or pin their app to the taskbar. This will provide users a consistent experience across all apps. Microsoft apps will use the same common supported methods for pinning and defaults. For taskbar and system tray, the updated API for pinning is now included in this build for preview. For snap layouts, Microsoft is trying out suggestions and snap layouts that help instantly snap multiple app windows together. When hovering over the Minimize or Maximize button on an app, or Win plus Z, to launch the layout box, you will see app icons displayed in various layout options to help recommend the best layout option that works best. This experience is beginning to roll out so not all Windows insiders in the dev channel will see it right away. For File Explorer, done some work to improve the performance of archive functionality during compression on Windows. So, these were the changes and improvements made in this. Lastly, talking about the fixes, in general, fixed an underlying issue that was causing Explorer.exe crashes when doing a variety of things in the last two builds, including when uninstalling apps. For DevDrive, fixed an issue where symbolic links might not work correctly when using DevDrive. For File Explorer, fixed an issue where the count shown for selected files in the details pane may have been extremely large. Fixed an issue where the details pane was flashing white in dark mode when navigating or resizing the File Explorer window. Fixed an issue where the delete key was sometimes not working in File Explorer, including when doing Shift plus Delete. File type icons were displayed in place of file thumbnails for the recommended section, applicable to enterprise users. 
Insiders signed in with an AAD account and tried to navigate the recommended section on File Explorer Home with a tab key on the keyboard may have experienced an Explorer.exe crash. When navigating from another group to the recommended section using a keyboard, Focus did not appear on the group header or files appropriately. For Taskbar and System Tray, fixed multiple Explorer.exe crashes that were impacting Taskbar reliability. Fixed an issue when using an uncombined taskbar that was causing focus to get lost when moving from the taskbar previews back to the taskbar icons. For search on the taskbar, fixed an issue impacting search reliability for some insiders in the last two flights. For task manager, fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to move the task manager window with touch or pen. For dynamic lighting, fixed an issue where device icons were missing from the device cards and settings. For Windows Inc., fixed an issue where users were unable to use handwriting to erase text in Microsoft Edge. So that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog from the description. Hope it was useful consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.